How you doing everybody? Nexus Lobo Scat Charger here from Tucson, Arizona. This morning I'm at uh, Larry H. Miller and today is uh, November 20th, 2020. We all can't wait for this year to go. But this morning I've been pondering maybe uh, trading in my Scat Pack for a wide body or even a Hellcat. But for now I'm just looking at some of these uh, wide bodies I know that it's just not all about the flares and the wide fenders. You do get bigger tires, 305s all the way around, suspension upgrades, the Brimbo brakes upgrades, and a six piston. But uh, yeah, stability wise, drivability wise, it is an improvement and it does look a lot nicer. But I have to contemplate whether my 2019, which is really, really nice, is worth having to do the upgrade to the 2021 so for now I'm just looking at these guys and uh, checking them out later on I'll probably go inside and see what the interiors are like which really should be no difference because they're basically all the same the front fascia on these from the 19 are different as you can see it's got the letter box slot there the nice little grill now instead of having the fog lights it's got a another air intake in there and that helps with the uh, air induction and cooling it's got the uh, devil's rim six piston bimbo brakes with the slotted rotors two piece with a hat now also I have to look at what what the running cost will be uh, just like the Hellcat if you get that two piece uh, rotors with the six brimbos the rotors themselves to replace if you don't have a warranty it's 1200 bucks a piece <laughs> amongst other little things tires are actually going to cost more because they're these guys are 305s versus the 245 or 275s so there's a couple other considerations but if money's not a consideration this is a really nice ride to buy but from what i can see this paint job here is a hell raisin looks really nice in the sunlight as you can see it's got a little bit of dust on it because it's been out all night but it really does look nice Let's look at other comparisons here. Like mine, this one is a narrow body. And you know what? I enjoy the car. And I have made some upgrades to really improve the performance on it. So this is a Daytona. and looks like it's uh might be a 5.7. Could be just a... Doesn't have anything on it. Could be a V6. I can find out real quick. Hold on. Oh, it looks like it's a 5.7. And let's see here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 36,000. This guy here is a 5.7. Okay, then it's an RT. And this one's not a bad paint job, actually. And I like the new Hemi emblem. It's a little bit more subdued. It's bigger and more spread out. So there are some little changes they made. Front fish is about the same way as the 19 and the 20. And then we come to the Challengers. Not bad. And this guy here is the SRT Hellcat. And it's just the Hellcat, it's not the red eye. It does have the white body. It has all the white uh, tires, the Hellcat rims. It's got that nice uh, front splitter, and as you can see, it has the red eye and the air induction, twin snorkel scoops. It's not a bad color. I think they call that the uh, fr uh, frozen or ice. I don't remember um, what that is, but yeah, it's not a B5 blue. It's a lot darker. It's a lot nicer, too. And here we have a Charger Hellcat. And this is also wide body. The interior on these look really, really nice. Not much different than mine. Not much different than anything else. They got some graphics now. With the kit, but those little graphics can get expensive because the upcharge on those is something else, along with the six thousand dollar 
uh, upcharge for a scat pack to have wide bodies, but all the Hellcats come now standard with a wide body trim. So the hood configuration is about the same. The only difference is the Hellcat Charger Red Eye is going to have a just slightly different hood where this is going to be further back. But for now, this is all I really wanted to know. So until next time, I'm going to be doing another video for the interiors, which really, you know, to say the least, it hasn't really changed much. They're still the same interiors. Maybe just slightly different options and things like that. So this Nexus Lobo Scat Charger here in Tucson, Arizona at Larry H. Miller. Dodge. Signing off. So you guys take care. Be safe. Wear a mask. Until then. Bye-bye.